Sometimes when we study the Bible, we can get a little bogged down in one verse at a time. And so what I want to do is I want you to see the big narrative of Scripture. Because the Bible is meant to be seen as one singular unit. It tells one story. And so often we get all disjointed and confused when we've got the Old Testament, the New Testament, and then we've got the letter to the Galatians, the letter to the Philippians, and it, it can seem very segmented and not just not make sense. But I want to show you that the Bible is one singular unit telling one story. And so when I like to describe just the overarching narrative of the Bible, I have four words that I like to use. The first one is creation. The Bible starts with the story of creation, that God spoke and it came into existence. He made everything very good, especially mankind. He made mankind very good. And He created everything without sin. And that part is so important that we understand that God did not create the world in sin. God created the world good. And then the second big heading that I want you to know is fall. So God created everything good, but then in Genesis 3 we learn that God's perfect creation was broken and sin entered the world and it brought curses on the ground. It broke mankind's relationship to God and it led to this fallen state of the world that we live in. So when we're looking at the narrative of scripture, we have creation, we have fall, but then God doesn't just leave us in our brokenness. He doesn't just leave us in our cursedness. He brings redemption. And so that's the third point of the storyline of God's story is redemption. And that redemption is coming through ultimately Jesus Christ. But leading up all throughout the Old Testament to the point where Jesus died on the cross, he gave promises known as covenants. And these covenants were different like mile markers along the way, reminding God's children that he has covenanted with them. He has promised to them that he is going to redeem them, that he is going to reign as their king and they are going to be his children. And so he made covenants to Abraham, to Noah, to David, to, to all of these men. And then it ultimately culminated in the covenant being fulfilled in Jesus Christ. And so the story of scripture, creation, God created everything good, fall, uh, sin entered the world and create, God's good creation was broken and cursed by sin. Thirdly, God is redeeming his creation through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But then the fourth and final point in understanding the giant narrative of scripture is glory. So God has sent his son Jesus to redeem us so that we would ultimately be with God for all of eternity, that we would receive eternal life in Christ, and that can only be received in Christ. And so, students, the next time that you're reading the Bible and you're just kind of getting bogged down and it seems like the Old Testament is different than the New Testament, you need to remember that it's telling the same story of creation, fall, redemption, and glory. And the entire Bible is pointing to God himself and glorifying him.